Victor Larkill, Let's Adopt International and welcome to the World Animal Awareness Channel. In this channel you see some of our stories, some of our rescue stories in a complete form, from the beginning to end. You're about to watch a beautiful rescue story that's going to fill you with emotion, you're going to see, you're going to feel sadness, you're going to feel joy, it's a whole gamut of emotions. Stay and watch it. This is not going to disappoint. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi, we have received an emergency call. Someone has found a dog on the fields in a state of extreme emaciation. We don't really know much more, but we have received these pictures. Just have a look. Uh, his uh, condition is terrible and they ask us for help. So we're on the way. We're going to pick him up. Let's go to the hospital. Toby's case is one of the most severe cases of abandonment and neglect that we've had for a very long time. He has leishmaniasis, he has kidney failure and other diseases that are treatable. We've taken him to the country's best hospital and he's now being treated in the intensive care unit. We need your help. We need uh, a combined action in order to save his life. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save his life. Thank you.
you see what he does? He just goes and searches on the beans. This is this is probably how he survived. Ah, oh, maybe. I think he's, he's making great improvements. We have managed to stabilize his condition. He came with us with uh, kidney failure, stage four. But we have managed to, to stop that from progressing. His creatinine levels are much better and he feels much better as well. Now, since he arrived, he has put on a kilo, two pounds, I believe. Isn't it? Two pounds, one kilo? Yeah. Uh, but look at this. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this. So the priority now is to make him put on weight carefully and slowly. I know many of you are saying, don't you feed him? Seriously? You have to ask that stupid question. Don't you feed him? Benaki. 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 I understand that when you see a dog in this condition, you feel repelled, you feel outraged. But please, to those of you who don't seem to understand much about anything, remember that we, we didn't do this to him. Okay? We are we're treating him, we're saving his life. So this is something that we're gonna have to deal with. His eyes are also infected. You can see this, it will be clean now. But this is also, it's not lack of treatment or lack of care. This is his condition, we're dealing with this. Cases like this are, are very common here. Maybe not as, as bad as this one, but uh, it's, a, it's a problem that we have in this country and in many other countries. Actually, we're gonna stop talking about this country because this happens everywhere. It happens in every country I have visited. You just have to look through YouTube and see the conditions of the animals rescued by Hope for Paws, for example, or many other rescues in the States. It's a very common problem. But we're focusing on, on Toby. Now, uh, the priority is to make him well, to stabilize him completely, to get him out of a kidney failure, to make him put on weight and to to rebuild him as a dog because right now poor baby ¿Te damos algo de comer? Let's give him something to eat Let's go Mira lo que tenemos aquí, madre mía, cómo se va a poner. Ven aquí, campeón. Ven aquí, ven aquí. Ven aquí, ven aquí. Relax, relax. Thank you. 
Jorge, estás, eh, estás utilizando un método innovador ¿no? en el tratamiento de la leishmania de Toby. Más o menos. Bueno, el Toby ha venido con una leishmaniosis, pues ya lo veis, no sobran las palabras, el estado en el que se encuentra, pues ahora aún está mucho mejor que cuando ha llegado. Ha llegado con un fallo renal agudo y, y bueno, y un hematocrito, una concentración de glóbulos rojos en sangre tan baja que estaba a punto de necesitar una transfusión, ¿de acuerdo? Hemos iniciado un tratamiento de rescate y estamos utilizando un producto que, bueno, ya lleva... Ya se está cada vez cogiendo más fuerza en veterinaria. Este en concreto se llama Leishfant Emo. Es un, un complejo en el que utilizamos la Artemisia. La Artemisia es un producto nutracéutico, no es un medicamento que se está utilizando también en medicina humana en la lucha contra la, la malaria. Y en veterinaria cada vez está cogiendo más fuerza porque estamos teniendo resultados que realmente parecen sorprendentes. Es un, un producto que, que es prácticamente inocuo, ya os digo, es un nutracéutico, no es un medicamento, es un complemento y la verdad es que lo estamos usando en conjunto de otras terapias, pero sobre todo con el Leish Fantemo estamos consiguiendo un buen resultado y bueno, de todas maneras os lo contaremos porque la lucha que queda es larga, ¿eh? esto no se acaba mañana ni la semana que viene. El riesgo es muy alto, el pronóstico de, de, de Toby es eh, pobre a reservado, pero cuando llegó era prácticamente sin opciones. Y hoy podemos decir que tenemos una oportunidad para luchar, que él está activo, está contento, está comiendo, está ganando peso y que vamos a enfrentar esa batalla tan dura que es la leishmania, pues con todas las fuerzas del mundo. ¿eh? Anyone that has been involved in a case like this will understand how complicated this is. So guys, we need your help to save him. So at the bottom of this video, there's a PayPal link. You can donate there if you wish. Or if you follow our work on a daily basis, some of you for many years, uh, I will invite you to come in as a regular sponsor on Patreon. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for Toby. Thank you. Go to the hospital.
What you have just seen is 15 seconds of one of the most extreme transformations you will see in a very long time. Five months ago, we received a call for help. There was a dog dying in the fields. Someone took him to a vet. They started treatment. His condition was so bad that they, they needed help. So we went, we got the dog, and we took him to our hospital. What follows now is a completely, it's an extreme transformation. Just please watch it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna ask for a favor. We're gonna have to find a home for this dog, for Toby. So please watch the video and listen to me at the end. Mira lo que tenemos aquí. Thank you. 
incredible an incredible dog we also did a, a complete assessment of his character his temperament he's wonderful he's the perfect dog super friendly he's very kind with all dogs he's, you know he will approach other dogs and if they react badly he will he's so polite and so nice this is an amazing dog and he needs an amazing home so please if you uh, if after watching this you feel that toby could fit in your home just please email me. Here is my email address. Tell me everything about you, your family, your animals. Very important, add pictures. So many of you write to me and you don't include pictures. So there is no way for me to assess anything. So help me find a home for this incredible dog. Toby needs a home. Share this video. Let's find him an amazing future. Thank you. It happened 10 months ago. I received a call for help. A dog was found dying on the fields. They said that it was a beautiful white dog, quite big, but it was completely emaciated. It looked like a, like a skeleton. So we drove to this place. We arrived to the small clinic where he had been left. And oh my God, what we found. It was amazing, a beautiful dog Argentino, so beautiful, so kind, but so thin, completely emaciated. Really, he looked like a zombie dog. We took him to the hospital and we started treatment. Toby had leishmaniasis, a parasitic disease that when it's left out of control, it causes untold damage in the skin, internal organs. Really, he was at his last uh, straw. It was unbelievable. It's terrible. Let's go to the hospital. Toby was at the hospital for four months, five months. Daily treatments, medication, drug. Slowly, slowly, he started putting on weight. Slowly, slowly, his character started to come out. Such a beautiful, friendly, loving dog. Unbelievable. Toby, please
Then, after a few months of treatment, it was the moment for him to leave the hospital and to start looking for a family. So, you want to see how Toby looks today? Have a look. This is Toby. Toby. What a change, what an incredible transformation. Toby is just beautiful. He has a wonderful character, he's so playful, he has no problem with other dogs, he has no problem with big dogs, with small dogs. He's just a furball, a really unbelievable, unbelievable dog. And the family that adopts him is gonna be so lucky. Are you that family? Seriously? Just write to me, my email address is here. Tell me everything about you, your animals, your home. I want this dog to have an amazing family. Help me find a home for him. Please share this video. Let's do this together. Thank you. 
Toby's transformation has been possible thanks to the help of our friends, thanks to the people like you. Please help us continue saving lives. Help us continue saving dogs like Toby. Please donate. We need you. Thank you. Somebody had found a dog laying by the side of the road, a dog in a terrible condition. They took him, they carried him as best as they could, and they took him to a local clinic. Once they left him there, they contacted me asking for help. The dog was found completely emaciated, so ill he was barely breathing. He was a walking skeleton. So they gave me the address of the clinic and they asked for help. So I went there the following morning. I arrived there, I told them that who I was and that I had been asked for help. I would like to see that dog. My God, when I saw him, it was unbelievable. He was in critical condition. He could barely stand up. He could barely walk. He was, uh, I mean, he had uh, injections for fluid. He was open veins. I mean, really, he was in a really, really bad shape. All his bones could be seen, the spinal cord, the, 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 the ribs. I mean, seriously, he was completely dehydrated and in a really, really bad shape. So I took him, I put him in the back of my car and we drove to our hospital, to our hospital at the time, where he was immediately hospitalized and began treatment. He was at the hospital for nearly three months. During this time, we had to face a terrible disease called Leishmaniasis, which is a parasitic disease, which is also chronic, and that does severe damage to the internal organs if left unchecked. And obviously, Toby's had been left unchecked. It was, uh, it was terrible. It was a fight against life or death. Uh, over the following days, he will have two kidney failures and uh, basically he was just about to die. Luckily, Jorge, our surgeon and our, our vet, did an amazing job and he recovered pretty well. So once we stabilize his kidneys, then we focus on rebuilding uh, his overall condition. So little by little, his tests started improving, he started putting on weight, his mood started changing, and he basically made a full recovery. From skeleton dog, he went on to becoming a beautiful, active, amazing, beautiful dog. So we uh, place an appeal, we ask people, if, uh, if anybody would like to adopt him. And uh, we told them that what a wonderful dog he is. Seriously, Toby is one of the kindest, most loving, most incredible dogs we've ever rescued. During this time, Toby has uh, had a great time with us. Really, he's an amazing dog. He's had so much fun at the pink house. He enjoyed his summer, he enjoyed his winter, and really, I mean, he's having a great time. But there's an issue that, uh, that worries me and concerns me, his kidneys. When we rescued Toby, his kidneys were severely damaged. We don't know how long he was so sick, but obviously the disease took a very heavy toll on him. During this time, Toby has been on a special diet, on a diet specially formulated for kidney failure. And I tell you, he's doing great. He goes to the vet every couple of months. We do continuous checkup. I mean, really, this is a dog that has 24 seven attention on him. Every single issue, every blemish on his skin, uh, whenever his eyes are red, uh, I mean, every change on his mood, and Toby goes to the vet. Really, we're taking amazing care of him, and it shows, really, he's in a good shape. But we remain concerned, his, uh, his kidney failure, won't be improving is a, is a condition that is a degenerative and that uh, over time is likely to get worse. So, so we have an issue with him. Um, he can't go to the States. We can send him to a family there that maybe six months, seven months, maybe a year down the line, they're gonna find themselves with a big problem 
with a dog that has a kidney failure and what do we do now? Um, our entire medical team is here. We don't know if they will be ready or if they will be even willing to, to, to take on the, the cost of, uh, of, of taking care of him. Um, it's complicated, it's complicated. COVID is uh, showing all signs to, to be improving. Uh, vaccination around the world has reduced the number of hospitalizations and the number of deaths. Airlines are starting to fly again. Little by little, things are starting to normalize, but it's gonna be a long process ahead. And the fact is that Toby still needs a home. So, what do we do now? I'm personally concerned of sending him to the US because of the issue that I've just told you, his kidney failure. Even if we send him to the US, I don't know when will that be. Airlines so far still are not flying dogs to the US from Spain, and it's a very complicated issue. So far, we've been successful in sending some animals to other countries, but it all has been done either by road uh, to the UK, to Belgium, to Holland, over here in Europe, or by airplane to Argentina and Colombia. But, uh, but nothing to the US yet. So this is, a, this is a video to give you an update on this amazing dog. So many of you helped us save his life. So many of you have been asking about him for the last few months and, uh, and, and were concerned about our animals. So it's an update on Toby. Toby is looking for a home. I would ideally like him to remain in Spain, to remain close by to our rescue centers so that we can take him to the hospital should it be necessary. But, uh, but this, I know this may not be possible. So maybe we can find him a home in Europe where things, uh, where things are easier. Maybe Germany, maybe Holland, Belgium, I don't know, maybe France. If you're watching this uh, video, uh, please look at it again. Look at the face of this amazing dog. He has gone through so much, through so, so much and he deserves a chance to be happy. We have a really nice place, but after all, we are a rescue center. We are not a family for our animals. Uh, we never intended to be. This, this, this group is called Let's Adopt, no Let's Rescue and Keep for Life. So the ultimate goal is to find a home for our animals, for all of them. I know this may be difficult, and I know in the end Toby may have to stay with us for life, but this is not an ideal solution. If you're watching this video, please share it. You never know, the power of social media is incredible. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know who's gonna watch our videos. You never know who's gonna fall in love with that beautiful face. This is an appeal to find a home, a very special home for a very special dog. Please, if you can, share this video, send it to your friends in Europe, see if we all working together can find a beautiful home for this unbelievable dog. So, guys, thank you very much. Please share this video, click like, comment. And if you are one of the people that are watching this, uh, this uh, channel for a long time, if you wanna get involved, if you really wanna help us save lives, please donate. Help us continue saving lives like Toby. Or if you wish, just please join me on my support group on Patreon. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's find a home for Toby. Take care. going to pick up Toby, one of our dogs, from our shelter. He's not doing well. He's having, uh, he's having kidney failure. ahí tranquilamente y seguro, ¿sabes? Hasta luego. Ah, 
hi, we're going to the hospital, we're talking Toby. Toby is a dog Argentino that we rescued one and a half years ago, and many of you will remember that he was in a completely terrible condition. He was emaciated, he was so sick. I mean, he had leishmaniasis, his internal organs were affected. I mean, he was in a really, really bad shape. So he was at the hospital for about three months. During this time, he made a complete transformation. He recovered so well, and he went to live with us at the pink house. And then pandemic began, and then the whole thing became a mess worldwide. Toby was adopted in the US, but his adoption was canceled because of the, you know, of the cancellation of all flights. So since then, he's been with us. As I said, he's an amazing dog. Really, he's a loving, loving dog. But for the last few days, we've noticed that he was not eating properly. He was in a depressed mood. And we just took him to the, to the vet yesterday. And they told us that, uh, that he has a kidney failure. Now, these are just very difficult news to, to handle. And we're just hoping that it's just an acute kidney failure. So it's something that we can fix uh, with hydration, with medication. And uh, this is why we're taking him to the hospital. Just come with us. You're gonna love Toby. He's wonderful and he's gonna need our help. ¿Y es el hispano positivo? Sí. Este le saco, le saco Jorge adelante. Qué bien. Vale, a ver. Vamos a ver. Uno. El animal come con ganas. Lleva dos días que no tiene apetito. Pues estás, estás aquí con nosotros y todo va bien, no te va a pasar nada, chaval. Estás bien, estás bien. We 
have left Toby at the hospital. He's in intensive care. He's gonna be there day and night until we manage to come out of uh, this kidney failure uh, situation where he is right now. It's heartbreaking. When you have rescued an animal, when you have transformed him completely, when everything is just right there at the reach of your hand, when he's ready to be adopted, when he's ready to have a new life, and then this happens. Yeah. So, Toby is now at the hospital. Again, kidney failure. We need your help. Once again. This is a dog that was given a new chance of life by this amazing community. And once again, he needs your help to continue living. Please donate. Help us save Toby. Thank you. I'm here again, and this is about Toby. Yesterday I published a video about him telling you that he's now at the clinic with kidney failure. Toby is a dog that was rescued one and a half years ago. It was uh, right at the beginning of the pandemic. We were having the first cases in Spain. Nobody knew what to expect. Even in that, in that time, we rescued him. This is a dog that was abandoned by the side of the road and left to die. I will never forget the day Sergio and I arrived at the clinic where, where they had left him and he was like a walking skeleton. I mean, really, he was in such a bad shape. He had no muscle mass whatsoever, nothing. We rushed him to the hospital and he was diagnosed with leishmaniasis and with a host of other diseases. Everything was treatable, but his condition had deteriorated to a point where we didn't know if it could be reversed. Toby spent two, three months at the hospital it was a really, really difficult time, but he made a wonderful recovery. After that, we took him to the pink house, to our shelter, where he continued his recovery. In those days, we were talking to several people that were interested in adopting him, and there was a really nice family in California. We agreed to that adoption. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic and because of the long wait, because there were no flights between Spain and, uh, and the United States, and even today, they are restricted. Uh, the adoption had to be postponed and eventually cancelled. So during all this time, Toby has been with us at the Pink House. He made friends with everybody, with Spoonie, with, with Hope, with, uh, with all the dogs that we have over there. Um, and he became, you know, part of the, of the Pink House uh, pack. Unfortunately, last, uh, last weekend, uh, his condition deteriorated uh, enormously. And all of a sudden, he didn't want to eat, he didn't want to drink, and he was feeling clearly bad. We took him to the hospital. We rushed him to the hospital to Isidore's clinic, the clinic where we're treating all our cases right now. And uh, his levels uh, were really, really terrible. Most importantly, the creatinine levels and the phosphate, phosphate levels were really, really high. So he's staying at the clinic right now. They're trying to reduce his levels of creatinine. They're trying to, to reduce his phosphate levels. And they're trying to make those kidneys work again. Now, it's a complicated uh, situation. Um, it's, an evolving, it's an evolving condition. It's an evolving disease. I have the impression that, uh, that we are going to be able to, to get him up to speed. And he will, he will recover. But his kidneys are always going to be very delicate from now on and we're gonna to have to be really, really careful. So this has been Toby's story. Toby is now at the hospital, still in intensive care. Still, we don't know we're gonna be able to take him out of there. And this is why I'm here today. Yesterday, the fundraiser that we launched, some of you donated, some of you helped, and I really thank you for this. But, uh, but I would like to tell you his story again, in the hope that maybe, maybe, if you, if you get to know what happened to him, you will decide to help him again. Thank you very much for your help. Thanks for being here. Please, if you can, donate. Toby needs you today. Help us save him.
son muy amigos, sí. Aquí no entiendo esta. Hi, we're coming to the clinic to see Toby. They told us that he's much better and they may even release him from the hospital today. We'll see. Se les ha roto. A lo mejor es un agujero para que salgan los gatos. Este Isidor tiene unas ideas. Hola. Super chulo para los gatos y tal. Ay, sí, es ideal. Es una cosa. Para que salgan los gatos. Sí, sí, para entrar yo también. Qué deprimente. ¿Qué ha pasado? Pues un robo de ¿En serio? Oh. Ostras. El, el alopurino de Eutirox es el Care. Le daremos okay. solamente, ¿vale? vale. Porque de... Y el IRCB. Y el IRCB también. Vale, perfecto. Y luego pone aquí Petit Mon... ¡Eh! ¿Dónde va? ¿Dónde va? ¿Dónde va? Vale, te voy a preparar las drogas. ¿Vale? La receta es... Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo es, estás? es un animal ideal. Es buenísimo. ¡Ay, oh, Dios mío! Bueno, ¿También? 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 Yo le he dicho a la señora, le, le he comentado, deja que... Toby, 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 mira, 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 mira. Venga, venga, Toby. No, le he pedido un poquito de tiempo. ¿Sí? Para que os vaya todo bien y que veamos que el animal eh, sigue comiendo. ¿La ha conocido? ¿La ha conocido? Le ha, le ha encantado. ¿verdad? Mira, cuando lo rescatamos, Toby era completamente blanco. Pero luego le han salido cajas en alma. Era blanco, blanco total. Gracias. Vamos si quieres ir grabando. Venga, venga, venga. Te vuelvo a Es que es una felicidad. Es una actitud. Es espectacular. Es buenísimo. Vale, perfecto. Es un perro feliz. Es un perro feliz. Es un perro genial y feliz. ¿Cómo estás, tío? the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled Sí. Vale. Le he dado muchos premios. ¿A que sí? I hope you always be around, even if I Y del Benacecare para el tema de la funcionalidad renal, uno al día, ¿vale? Y el IRCB, dos al día. Ok. Después te lo pongo. No, 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 no,
Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Buen bueno, viaje. Hasta luego. ¿eh? Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <risa> Adiós. Chao. Venga, vámonos, campeón. Venga, va. Está correa. No sé si va Barnés. ¿Va Barnés? No. ¡Uy! ¡Vamos a casa! La correa está. ¿Dónde está? Aquí delante. ¡Ay, cómo se la fresca! So that's it. He's back home. He's really happy. We managed to to stabilize the kidney failure. Creatinine levels are nearly normal. Um, we're gonna have to be very careful moving forward, changing the diet. I mean, understanding that he has kidney failure and that it will eventually progress. And that's gonna be from now on. But uh, for the time being, he's doing great. He's really happy to be back. And, uh, and let's hope it goes well. As I said, kidney failure is a very complicated condition because there's no way back from it. So from now on, we'll have to manage it. So guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for giving Toby the chance to, to be with us for what we hope is gonna be much longer. Eh, Toby? Mm. ¿Cómo estás, campeón? ¿Cómo te encuentras? How are you, boy? Oh my God, Toby. ¿Qué pasa, mi amor? ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Conoces a alguien? Sí. Bien, sí. ¿Ves que no hace, no hace nada? No tengas miedo. Toby was rescued two years ago. And the day we rescued him, I just couldn't believe his condition. He looked like a zombie. They found him laying down in some fields really really sick and the person that rescued him took him to a local vet in a village and they left him there it took us a couple of months three months to get him back to to speed 
and then he came over here. We tried to look for a home for him, but the right home didn't materialize. And then at some point, he was unfortunately diagnosed with a kidney failure. Since the disease began, kidney failure, he's been making progress. Very slow, very slow, but he's been making progress. Uh, we're controlling the disease with, uh, with drugs and with food. And I think we're doing very well, but little by little, his kidneys are failing. We have to be really on top of things. He has, a, he has a blood test every month. We are very careful to see if he loses weight, if he doesn't want to eat. On top of it, he's a very prickly eater. He's very, he's very delicate. He doesn't like everything. So sometimes, like last weekend, for example, he stopped eating and he didn't want to eat. So we had to take him to the vet immediately to see if it was getting worse. But I didn't. Anyway, he's such a beautiful dog. He's a dog argentino, and he's in a, in a banned list uh, in most countries. He's considered dangerous dog, potentially dangerous. Look at him. He's wonderful. Toby is gonna, he's gonna stay with us. He's gonna stay with us until the end. We cannot give him an adoption. Uh, having a progressing kidney failure. So, so this is why in, uh, in all our videos I'm making an appeal and I'm asking you to, to please help because you see sometimes you rescue an animal, you, you take him to the hospital, you heal him and he goes to a home. But sometimes something's happened and he cannot go home. And this is what happened to him. This is why we need your help. Think about me one more time but before you go As you've seen, he's a very, very fussy eater and uh, that doesn't, doesn't make things easier. But anyway, just wanted to tell you, we have to be very careful with, uh, with Toby's diet. We're giving him a mix of kibble and uh, wet food. Both kibble and wet food are specifically designed for kidney failure and we just have to be on top of things, we have to make sure that the disease doesn't progress very quickly and that we are, we are controlling the situation. Vamos a ver a los gatos arriba. Venga, let's go see the cats. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe and stay a while.